Corinna and her family doing the absolute most. Again, Lisa Renna, we only have content because you keep giving it to us. Now, this is the latest about her. And I don't, before we dive into that, I'm not trying to body shame. And when I say this, I want to be very sensitive and respectful because, you know, I'm a straight woman. So when I make comments, I don't want to ever be disrespectful to any other um, sexuality or gender or anything like that. So if I say something that's ignorant in this comment, I really, really apologize. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But it, it seems, and I'm not trying to body shame, but I want to talk about it because I, it's just an observation I've made with this situation. Doesn't it seem like um, Amelia, who's her daughter, she's the one with the black hair, and she's publicly spoken about her ED, but her body to me just seems very masculine or androgynous, um, just very different than how she used to look. Like, I think I thought both the girls, Delilah and Amelia, they've always been thin, but they've always had more softer, not not softer as in bigger, but like, you know, like softer, more lean, more feminine, that sort of wafy model look. Something about the way De- um, Amelia's body is looking seems very masculine, very androgynous. I don't know. I don't know. And, and I don't mean to talk about anybody's ED or body shame. It's more of a concern to, about anything, like like what's going on there. I don't know. I just wanted to point that out to see what you guys think. Let me know what you think. Anyway, let's keep going with that. So it says, dun, 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 Lisa Renna reveals a family would film a new show called Life After Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Heaven as family celebrates Delilah Hanlon's new single. It's been two months since Lisa Renna bowed out of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after an eight season run and she hasn't looked back, bowed out, AKA got fired. Since her exit, Lisa has been flying around the globe attending various fashion events and fashion weeks, providing fans with a plethora of interesting fashion ensembles, something she didn't have time to do while filming Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Mm, Okay. It has been heaven, absolute heaven. I mean, I've been to Paris and London and I've been able to travel and go to fashion shows. I'm having really the time of my life, Lisa told Us Weekly while promoting her partnership with Don Julio Tequila. I'm having so much fun and this is all about fun and party time off. I mean, it's perfect. Couldn't have come at a better time. This, you, you know why I think this is a lie? She says she didn't have time to do it while filming. That doesn't make sense. It seems like that's what you should have been doing while filming. Like that would make you a cool, rich celebrity housewife. I have all of these fashion shows to go to. I'm invited here. I have this event. I'm jet setting. I'm bringing the girls. Like that doesn't make sense. Like if you're on a show called The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, that's all about glitz and glamour. Why are you saying now I'm actually going to live a glitz and glamour life after I'm off of the show? That doesn't make any sense. Instead, you wanted us to hang out in your rat infested mortgaged house while you're on a show called The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But now that you're off the show, you're claiming to have this glorious life. Girl, please. You're getting invited to these places, one, because your daughters are models. And two, you know, like they say, you know, all press is good press, you know, lover or hater, like it or not. She was really, you know, buzzing at that point. Everybody was talking about her. We'll start, you know, we're talking about her. And to have her at the shows, you know, infamy, they're getting clicks or getting views, you know, all of that stuff. And I don't think the fashion world is what it kind of used to be. You know, it's not how it used to be back in the day with like Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss and Otto Wintour and um, Andre Leon, you know, like all of those people, like it's not like that anymore. It's like a bunch of reality stars and influencers, which is fine. Every industry evolves, but you know, I'm not putting her up there with like Coco Chanel. That's just me. But let's keep going. Lisa's also been using her well deserved time off to spend with her famous family, including her husband, Harry Hamlin, and her model daughters, Delilah and Amelia. Lisa and Harry have one of the longest marriages in the business, according to Lisa. There's no secret sauce, well, except for Harry's fam- famous bolognese, to making their union work. There's no real secret other than it just seems to work. We really are very opposite, and I do think there's something about opposites attract because Harry and I cannot be more different. And yet we come together, and I think we really get a kick out of each other and enjoy each other, Lisa said. I think you guys have an agreement. 
I think Carrie does Harry. I think Lisa does Lisa. It's an agreement. So there's nothing, you know, wrong there. I think they both are happy and they're both satisfied because they understand what the situation is. S smile for the camera, make the money, and then Harry, go to Canada. You do you. I'll stay here in L.A. and I'll do me. And it is what it is. It's an agreement, which is fine. I think it's more contractual and agreement than anything else. And that's fine. You know, people... People, people have the right to decide how they want to manage their own marriages, you know, 100%. But let's keep going. Uh, I have both my girls in town right now, which is really fun, Lisa told the outlet. Amelia's been here for about a week. I guess my challenge is kind of keeping with both of them and their lives and their careers. And that's what's been a challenge because they're just doing so well and they're all over the place. It's been really fun. Side note, my question is this. <sighs> I wonder how the girls feel that Lisa is basically morphing into them. You know, if you are, you know, a model and you're at, you know, Paris and London and Milan Fashion Week, and then, you know, you're strutting down the, the runway and then you look over and your mom's right behind you, how would you feel about that? I wonder how the girls feel about the mom basically trying to morph into them. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, unless I brought my mom into what I was doing, I would feel some type of way if she tried to like outshine me and what I was doing. It's very weird to me. Very weird. There's been so much to celebrate as Lisa recently attended the drop party for Dahlia's new single and music vi video, Nothing Lasts Forever, this past Saturday night at the Hotel Ziggy in Hollywood. Side note, this is the same hotel, Hotel Ziggy, that was featured on Vanderpump Rules. This is the same hotel that James Kennedy was DJing at when it when the fake storyline of Raquel and Peter was going on. Remember, he went to the rooftop party and it was Hotel Ziggy, same exact spot. So obviously Hotel Ziggy is, you know, doing PR with like Bravo and like influencer people and stuff like that. But that's just like a little side note. Let's keep going. The whole family was in attendance, including Harry and Amelia. The broad sipped cocktails and enjoyed the night's festivities. Delilah took to Instagram to post a photo from the event earlier this week and thanked all of those who, ex who have supported her along the way. So incredibly grateful to everyone who has supported me on this journey. From all of my followers to my friends and my family, thank you. I'm so excited for this new journey I'm on, and I hope I'm able to continue to do what I love. Thank you to everyone who came out to support the other night. Love you all. She captioned the post. Okay, Delilah. Okay. Lisa also shared a photo of the party supporting Delilah Gushing, celebrating the release of Delilah Bell's new single, Nothing Lasts Forever. Hashtag proud family. Now, this is my question. I get it, Lisa. I get it, Harry. You're trying to be, you know, proud parents and all of that. But have you gotten your daughter's help? You know, this is the same daughter who was crying on TikTok saying she needed trauma therapy and you wouldn't pay for it. You know, this is the same daughter who was just on Instagram with IVs in, in her, you know, arm saying that she had like 20 different diseases. And I'm not trying to talk bad about Delilah or Amelia. I actually think they're very beautiful you know, young women. And I don't think that any, even though they are adults, you know, I, I don't think I'm not trying to talk bad about her children. Like it's that, if anything, I feel bad for them. You know, she said she had this disease and that disease and this other disease. And it's almost like, what happened to that? You know, and we're going to get into it because it continues to say Delilah's celebration comes on the heels of the model revealing that she suffered seizures while shooting the music video. With so much going on in their lives, many fans have speculated whether a new reality show could be on the horizon for Lisa and the family. That's another thing. What are you doing with reality shows when your daughter is having seizures? Are you like, what is going on? You know, Amelia is out here looking. I don't know what's going on with her body. She's talked about her ED. I'm just, you know, I hope she's okay and everything is going on. And I mean that from a genuine place, not trying to shade. And then with Delilah, I don't know. It's always weird to me, not weird, but concerning when people are like, I have 20 different diseases. I have seizures. I need this, 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 this. And there's no sort of like resolution to it. You know, Delilah is the same one who, who um, accidentally overdosed on, was it Percocet or Xanax? It was like Xanax and something else she was taking. Uh, maybe it was like Benadryl or something like that. And she went to the rehab place and then she got kicked out of the rehab place. Like they couldn't even handle the situation. So I'm kind of like, what's really good and what's really going on here? 
the let's go. Something similar to her, to, to her 2010 reality show, Harry Loves Lisa. However, Lisa explained that she doesn't think the idea is quite ready to come to fruition. Well, gosh, I'll never say never. I'll never say an, never ever to anything. You just never know. I mean, everybody's busy right now doing their own thing. Delilah's releasing her new her first song, which is very exciting. And Amelia's got her career all over the world. And Harry's working on May for Witches. So I couldn't really even get everybody together at this point, Lisa concluded. What that means is you don't have any bites. When you say you don't think it's ready to come to fruition, a.k.a nobody's biting and by biting i mean no studio no streaming platform nobody wants to produce your show because i'm pretty sure if bravo nbc vh1 hulu apple tv paramount i don't know what all the all the streaming platforms all the networks in the world wanted to produce a show she would be on a show I think her saying the idea won't come to fruition means nobody wants to buy the show. But I have some advice for you, Lisa. Why don't you just come on over to YouTube? The water's fine. Come on over. Do a family show on YouTube. Come on over. It's fine. You know, you could you could be like, you know, Kelly Dodd and her husband, Rick, they have their YouTube show, the Rick and Kelly show or the Kelly and Rick show, whatever the hell it's called. You know, they do that. Like a little like daytime talk show, you know, do your little family YouTube show, do your own thing. I don't know. I don't know. Just a thought, just a thought. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below and stick around my candy canes because I want to take some of your candy cane questions and comments. Dun, 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 dun. But before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share us with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out the description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% for free. So with that, you guys, let's take some of your candy cane questions and comments. I'm also going to drop the link in case anybody wants to come up, but no pressure. Only come up if you want to. No pressure. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. 